Right guys, hot water cylinders can be anywhere, so we're just simulating a hot water cylinder that might be in a roof. We can simply roll this up like a yoga mat. Down below, in the passage or bathroom, a lot of guys are doing this outside. They're taking the overflow, uh, the overflow of the geyser and they're putting their hose pipe through the overflow and taking it outside, their drainage hose pipe. So then what we do next is we're gonna take our clear hose and we're gonna connect that to the bladder and we're gonna connect the opposite side of the hose to the output of the pump and we're going to take the hose which goes up to your hot water cylinder and we're going to connect that to the suction side of the pump. If you do not have a gardenia drain cock then you're going to take a piece of copper pipe like this which gets sleeved into your hose pipe. We'll leave the vacuum breakers on, turn the water off, simply remove the cold supply going into the drain cock. It'll create a negative vacuum so spillage is minimal. The copper pipe will then get placed into the drain cock and tightened up. Once you've done that you're going to take the hot water vacuum breaker off and siphonic process will happen naturally through the pump into the bladder. So once the copper pipe is inserted into the drain cock, we simply remove the hot water vacuum breaker and siphonic action will immediately take place and water will drain into the bladder in about seven minutes through the pump. And the water should naturally start flowing through the system. Yeah, we've got the water coming through the clear hose which is a protective measure so that we don't put dirty water into the bladder or if you're doing an element change once you see the brown water coming you simply stop the process and you can discard the brown water if you're doing a geyser change the minute you see the hot water uh, the dirty water you simply discard stop the process and discard the dirty water let me turn it on and this process should take seven minutes The turnaround time for the plumber is exceptional as hot water cylinders can be drained in around 7 minutes and then returned to the cylinder in 7 minutes. The old drainage method through siphonic action can take up to half an hour. Right guys, we have now drained the hot water cylinder into the bladder so we're going to turn off the pump and we're going to shut the lever valves. Now we've drained hot water into the bladder so obviously there's going to be a little bit of steam, so to relieve the steam because of expansion, we're just going to remove this nozzle. When we're working in someone's home, we're obviously going to work on a small little drip tray just to pre prevent a little bit of spillage, however spillage is minimal. Uh, to return the process, it's very simple guys, now we're going to take the suction side of the pump, which is obviously always the bottom side of the pump, and we're going to remove the top pipe, plug it to the bottom, we're then going to plug back onto the, 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 the bladder because we're turning the water back to the geyser once maintenance or replacement has been done. The top, the hose pipe will go to the geyser which is obviously going to go onto the return side of the pump which is the top and we're going to turn the pump on and we're going to slowly open the valve. Right, we've got hot water now being returned to the hot water cylinder. This process will take about seven minutes. Make sure that your hot water vacuum breaker is off or that a hot water tap is open to blow the air out of the geyser. Let's not forget that the clear pipe between the pump and the bladder is to determine the depth of the geyser. So once you see brown water coming through, you can stop the process so that we don't put brown water into the bladder and we can simply discard the brown water once the process is complete. Not only are we saving water, but we are also saving energy as we are putting hot water back into new hot water cylinders. Right guys, as the bladder drains, uh, obviously it's getting uh, flatter and flatter. So we need to keep the water in the corner where the drainage side is so that we don't suck onto the bottom of the bladder. So by doing that, we simply just lift the bladder up, tilt the water to the corner, and we wait for the rest of the bladder to drain. So I'm proud to say that this is a locally manufactured product. Uh, we're using a specialized rubber product which is heat resistant. We pressure test our packs to six bar and they take 80 degrees Celsius.
So guys, we have now successfully uh, drained the water from the bladder back into the hot water cylinder. Uh, obviously, instantly I've closed the, the, the pipe coming from the geyser to the pump so that there's no back siphonage taking place. You're then going to go back up to the hot water cylinder. You're going to close your drain cock. You're going to install the vacuum breakers. And you're going to turn the water back on to the hot water cylinder. And that's the process complete. Now, we've basically just taken 200 liter of water from a hot water cylinder. We've drained it into our bladder and uh, we've saved another 200 liters by putting the same water back in which you would have naturally have drawn from the source. Um, with just over 200 plumbers using this product since December, we've saved 2 million liters of water. So guys, you know, if you practice this once or twice, the method's very simple, it's quick and effective, and of course it's massive water saving, and uh, you'll never want to drain a hot water cylinder in any other manner once you've done this. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, I hope you enjoy what we're doing and saving water. Thank you.